Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Morkum Youth Squad Legends Career Mode. Today we've got ourselves an upgrade for Ji Wu or Zi Wu, something like that. Anyway, here he is. We've given him a dragon tattoo. Um, because, yeah, other than that, everything is randomized on him. Um, and then we've kept the boots because they look cool. We didn't get any comments for places to go where we should scout our players. So I have gone ahead and we are just going to pick three basically major nations in uh, England, France, and Germany. So let's go to those countries. Well, this is going to be our first game. We're at the Globe Arena home match for Morecambe. I'm actually going to go in and change something real quick in the game settings. We're going to play this on world class. Um, other than that, it's the same team that you've seen, except Davis is in for... Uh, I can't remember how to... Deebs. Yeah. So, that's that. I think I want to put Ward in for this game. Um... And we don't really have any other, we don't really have any, well, we got Price, so we'll put Price in as well instead of Bennett. Um, that way we've got two wingers when Peterson and Nicholson tire. Uh, and two options for a striker. So, yeah, let's get into the game. I'm surprised that they're saying mid-table finish for Morecambe this season. I have very low expectations for us, especially considering we're playing this on world class, but we do have two um, new players in Wu and Beherano. And you can see Wu, you can also see, is that Davis? Who's six foot six next to five foot seven Wu? So that is definitely gonna be <laughs> Davis is an absolute giant. If we ever need a goalkeeper, we might just put him in because he is massive. All right, so this is how we're lining up. We got Norso, Nolsa in goal. We got Alexander Beherano. McKinley and Passy, Peterson, Wu, Davis, Nicholson, O'Burn, and Harrison up at the top at the striker position. And, uh, and you've got Crew, who have Garrett, Steery, Ray, Rhines, is that Rhines? Uh, Bakayogo, Campbell, Walker, Jones, Ainley, Bowery, and Dagnall. So no Ung, Perry Ung. That's sad. I hope they didn't get rid of him. Uh, we'll start off the game. And, um, let's get into our first game. Oh, what a shot by the crew attacker. But Nolsu had it covered. I think that's how you say it, Nolsu, but I'm not not 100% sure. Oh, we're on the break here with Peterson. Is he going to get there? He is going to get there. And couldn't get it past him. All right, we're coming down the wing here with Nicholson. Oh, Byrne didn't want to make the run. We've now hit it up. It's now gone to Nicholson, who's headed it straight to the defenders. And at halftime, it is nil-nil, but Crew definitely have had the better game by, like, another six shots. And we could be through with O'Byrne here. Gonna take a long shot, and that's gone nowhere. Oh, what a class goal by Crew! They've had the, they've been the better team. They've had the better game, and they are now ahead. Eventually, the keeper has to pick the ball out of his net. He's done so well in 
repelling everything else, but this one was too much for him. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but the defending, well, here's a chance. Oh, Frewer really pushing in this game. The fans, though, racking up the atmosphere. All right, we've got two changes. We've got Ed Price and Oyston Danielson coming on for John Nicholson and Dave Peterson. Oh, that's baloney, ref. Ref doesn't want me to win this game. Don't. No. They've buried, they've buried it right in the last seconds of the game. Well, that's... That's a shame. And that's going to be the end of the game with a 2-0 loss. Well, I will say this. When we... When I did a test run of this match with the exact same team, exact same settings, it was a 2-0 win. The board does not have us caring about the um, Carabao Cup, so we are going to simulate this match. They won... 1 nil. All right, we're going to be at the Colchester Community Stadium uh, here in our second league game. Um, the only real change is we've got Arvidsson at the top and because uh, what whatever is his name is, I, I need to remember the team's name. Uh, I can remember Wu. That's an easy one. Um, but he's, uh, he's a little tired. The rest of the team is pretty uh, low on stamina but should be all right for this game. Let's get into it. All right, Culture have the starting, decent starting lineup. Don't really know any of the player other than Smodic, who's uh, all right. So uh, it's a decently young side, I think. So uh, it'll be, it'll be full of energy, uh, probably. Um, and then I'll show our lineup in a second. So on our lineup we got Nolsu, Alexander Beharano, McKinley, Posse, and then we've got Nicholson, Davis, Wu, Peterson, O'Byrne, and then the only changes are Vidson at the top. All right, let's get into the game. They're going to be kicking off. Let's get into it. We got a cross and it's just gone over. Right. Does not get it on target whatsoever. Defense hasn't been strong at the start of this game, so that's going to have to change. Pulling these players just don't have his vision. A very good vision, but O'Burn's through here. Um, gone to Peterson. Good cutback. Crosses in and straight to the defender. Oh. Well, burns through, and it's a goal. What a rocket into the net. Wow, what a shot by O'Burn to put us into the lead. First goal of the season as well. And then they're not getting in. Nolsa is just too good for them. And we're going into halftime 1-0 up. Nicholson making a big old run through the defense here. Bring it back, and the cross is blocked. But now Arvizen's through, takes a shot, and it's saved by Walker. O'Burn to Nicholson. Arvison. O'Burn, and it's another goal for O'Burn. It's his second goal of the game. And that probably is it for the, for the game. I think that really wins us the match. Not as good of a strike, but still an excellent goal. Woo, going in for the tackle, but will he get back in time? And Passy sort of is going. passed it away. And then the interception came in. Looking to clip it into the middle. Nicholson. Oh, it's gotten it's back to the tackle. defense. Good block by Beharano to Alexander, who's going to get it up to O'Burn, who sees McKinley, who sees Arvison, 
Who's Cizo Burn? And out. that's out now. And that's a foul on Davis, which allows us to do our substitutions, even though it's pretty late in the game. Liam Harrison's going to come on for Marco Byrne, and Gino Suarez is going to come on for Passy in that left back role. And that's the game. Our first win of the season, Marco Byrne with the brace, giving us our first win technically of our career, but not technically of our career because we got goals, you know, in the first season. But that was a warm-up season, so, you know. All right, we've got game again at the Globe Arena and home ground against Accrington Stanley, who in real life would have been promoted. Uh, this is our starting lineup. Let's get into the game. All right, so here's our lineup. We got basically the same lineup with Nolsa, with Alexander Bejarano, McKinley, and Passy in the back uh, line. And then our midfield consists of Nicholson, Davis, Wu, Peterson, and O'Byrne. And at the top, we have Harrison as our striker. I don't know if we're going to know anyone on the Accrington Stanley lineup. Um, but we can still put it up. Uh, they do have Key up front and Brown. I believe he's one of their uh, midfielders, and they got Clark. Actually, I'm not sure about Brown, but I remember Clark. Um, both Key and Clark are decent players, so... Uh, definitely, definitely got a couple players we got to look out for. So, uh, you know, Accrington is a pretty good side. Passy's just not got the strength. We need to get uh, some stronger players coming into the team. Uh, but that's half time. Uh, woo. He's going to go on a little run, it looks like. He's got it through. But not fully through. Oh, uh, it's another free kick for Accrington Stanley. We need to hold on just for a little longer. Don't want to lose another home game. We are on ultra defensive right now. You do want the point. Wu's got it. He's drawn the defenders out. Danielson's on the wing. He's cutting it back in for another for a cross. And no one wants to get uh, uh, behind the kick. And that's going to be the end of the game. That's frustrating. The awareness of these players is absolutely shocking at times. The vision is not there. We've got a lot of work with this team. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Morecambe uh, Youth Squad Legends. We're going to do deadline day in the next episode, and we are going to do um, more uh, games. We're going to try and get through all of September. We're going to try and go pretty quickly through some of these games as well. Um, January and, and August and obviously like the last days are going to be, uh, for the most part, pretty much um, pretty tame with where we're going uh, with with the season. Um, it'll be kind of like scouting updates for the most part, and then you'll just get a bunch of post-com for the games. Um, the, the front three so far is, well, really front four because of uh, goal difference. Uh, you have Oldham, Chesterfield, Blackpool, Fleetwood. Um, three of those teams uh, were f originally from League One. And all the way at the bottom, you have Coventry, Colchester, Carlisle, and Forest Green, all with one point. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in looking at the Premier League, but uh, if, you, if you are, then let me know. We got a pretty busy September, so I'll probably try and get through all these games, or as many of them as possible. Um, 
you know, post calm. We will not be paying any attention to the cup games until the FA Cup when we want to try and do a bit of a run in that. Um, so we've got a game against, our next game is against Lincoln City. Then we've got one at Cambridge. I don't know if it's at Cambridge, but one with Cambridge. Then we've got Oldham, Fleetwood, Barnet, and Newport County. So we're going to try and uh, get through those games in the next episode. So for his performances in the Colchester game, we're going to be upgrading Mark O'Byrne. Uh, good old Turn and Burn. I think that'll be his nickname. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions between now and when the next episode is going to come out, obviously when I'm recording the matches, um, you won't, you may not see the actual upgrades until I uh, have, you know, I'm editing the video. So it may be like a, a next episode thing, but um, between, or instead of next episode, ne the next episode, like episode four, um, you might see the changes. Um, but, oh wait, no, this is episode three, so episode five, you might see the changes. Um, so yeah, but, um, just give me what you, uh, if I see any suggestions for what we should do. I think I'm gonna keep the boots if they're custom, uh, boots, because these are new ba a pair of new balances, so I think we'll keep them since they're custom boots. Um, but then the rest of it, um, just let me know what you want. We will be untucking his shirt. That will be our way of knowing we have already done O'Burn. Um, uh, if not, I'll just randomize and maybe we'll give him a tattoo or something. Who knows? And I'll, uh, see you guys in the next episode of the U-Squad Legends. Take care.